taking good care of troops defending the country has a direct impact on the country's national defense. However, in practice, improving the welfare of military personnel has not received the kind of attention it deserves, which has led to recruitment and morale issues. Hello, this is Il Young from Korea Now. Besides their primary role of defending the country, South Korean soldiers are frequently mobilized to provide relief to civilians when the country suffers from natural disasters like typhoons and even help out with emergency infrastructure repairs. Despite the numerous tasks they are asked to perform, it has often been cited that the salaries of troops, who are mostly conscripts, don't even reach the country's minimum wage level. Reflecting such complaints, President Yoon song yeol had called for a significant increase in soldiers' salaries before taking office last year and has announced steps to implement his pledge. At the cabinet meeting on August 29th, the government passed a budget plan that marks up next year's defense budget by a solid 4.5% compared to this year, which will result in the salary of surgeons reaching $1,250 per month if government support is factored in. 이미 약속드린 대로 내년도 병 공급을 35만 원 추가 지급하여 25년까지 병 공급 200만 원을 달성하겠다는 국정 과제를 차질 없이 추진하겠습니다. According to the new budget, the monthly salary for a surgeon, which stands at just $756 this year, will be increased by $189 in 2024 to $945. Correspondingly, the monthly salary of a corporal will rise from $604 to $756, with that for a private first class to be raised from $514 to $605, and that of a private to reach $484 from $454 at present. Government support to help soldiers build up savings before being discharged from the military will also increase from a maximum of $227 to $305 per month. If you combine government subsidy and the monthly salary, the wage of a surgeon is equal to $1,250 per month. Under the government's plan, the salary of surgeons will reach $1,512 by 2025 and by adding $416 in government subsidies to the monthly salary of $1,135, the total will reach that of the country's minimum wage. In line with the increase in soldier salaries, the incentives paid to short-term service officers and non-commissioned officers will also significantly increase. The Ministry of National Defense explained, for people to be proud to fulfill their military obligations, we will provide a reasonable level of compensation. However, many are voicing concerns about the increase in defense spending, including higher pay for troops. Of the concerns raised the most prominent are those that point out that the only countries that guarantee soldiers' salaries at the level of each country's minimum wage are those that have adopted the volunteer military enlistment. Because if you consider the period of service and attitude to her service, the combat power of conscripted soldiers is generally lower than that of a volunteer force. Furthermore, next year's total government expenditure will mark the lowest year-on-year -year growth rate since 2005, and the growth rate of the defense budget, including the soldiers' salary increase plan, exceeds the growth rate of the government's total spending plan for the first time since 2017 leading to criticism that this is an unrealistic budget arrangement. The main reason why so much is being spent on soldiers' salaries can be attributed to President Yoon's three major pledges. Experts agree on the need to increase the defense budget, but argue that overly optimistic financing plans should be re-examined. Young able-bodied men in South Korea have to serve in the military for a minimum 18 months. As someone who has experienced military life, I deeply empathize with the fact that it was not a short and easy time. However, as someone who has served, it is questionable whether the treatment of soldiers can be improved simply by increasing wages. Government authorities will need to listen to the voices of various stakeholders and carefully develop plans to improve the treatment of soldiers. What do you think about this latest move? Give us your opinions in the comment section below. As always, we will keep you informed about this 
and all other key issues on Korea now.